Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we're actually going to be diving into image segmentation, which is really interesting. It's kind of like my personal passion project for like the past five, six years. I do this in grad school. I also do this right now at my job. So I'm just super excited to share this new book with Pet Publisher with all of you guys. It's called Hands-On Computer Vision with Detectron. And specifically, we're looking at Detectron version 2. And oh, by the way, it's coffee time. So let's take a sip of coffee. So first of all, let's talk about the author. The author's name is Van Bam Fan. So Dr. Fan has been in computer vision for a long time. At this point, based on his profile, it's safe to say that he is in this field for 10 plus years experience. So when I read the book, I look at the author profile, that immediately gives me the confidence that I'm in good hands. And if I want to move above and beyond in my own professional career, I want to learn more about not just how to use computer vision to detect images, segment instances, but also to go above and beyond, this is the book to go. Because it really walks you through not just the code, but the backbone, the theory of what's going on in image segmentation, instance segmentation, and that sort of technology. So now let's talk about the content of this book. This book is arranged in the order of explaining a concept and then do a step-by-step -step walkthrough. As a matter of fact, it's really a lot of content that the author is packed together in this book. And each chapter is served certain job, certain purpose to walk through certain portion of the code. And there's a total of four parts, 13 chapters, so you can kind of see the volume of the code goes into this book. And hey, fun fact, I happen to be one of the reviewers for this book, which is a great honor for me to talk about this book in this video. So first things first, what's Detectron, right? What is the algorithm? On a high level, you can refer to this diagram here. It starts with input data. So you have your pictures. It could be people in it, it could be landscape in it, it could be whatever objects inside of the picture. That is your conventional matrix format RGB values for each pixel. RGB is short for red, green, blue, and each carries a level of brightness that's ranging from zero to 255. Whereas 255 means that it's very bright and zero means it's very dark. So that is the base understanding of picture data now the goal is simple. We're going to start with the backbone that use one of your conventional tools in convolutional neural network. So you can use a deep CNN such as RaiseNet, or if you don't like that, you can use other image encoders that you like. So immediately when you do that, it drops your dimension, right? However high resolution that your picture is, no problem. The convolutional neural network is able to drop that dimension for you. So now, once you drop that dimension down to, say, a vector, then the idea is that vector is linear separable. So you can build your classifier, you can build your instance segmentation models based on that lower dimensional vector that's linear classifiable. And that provides a backbone understanding of what the Tektron algorithm is about. From there, we can talk about what are the objects, what are the different instances, and what are the different regions of interest, and so on and so forth. That gives you the training data, and that gives you an idea of how this model can be built. Essentially, on a high level, you have an image coming in, the CNN is dropping the dimension, and then we produce the instance, the segmentation, the mask that the user is required to have. So just to give you guys an understanding of what that results look like, we can kind of take a look at this picture. So you have a picture with four people on it, and you have a landscape. The algorithm Detectron is not just a YOLO algorithm, right? In the sense that it doesn't just give you the bounding box and label with high confidence. It also gives you the specific instance. It's able to recognize that, hey, that's a person, that's a person, that's a different person, that's a different person. And it color coded each region of the picture where there's a different person with a different color. Meaning what? meaning the AI is able to recognize not only that's a person, it's a different person. So something like that, it's very interesting. And I think that gives you a lot of information of what is algorithm Detectron V2 can do. 
and not to mention a huge volume of industry applications that this technology can lead to. So to give you guys some other idea of what you can learn from this book, here's an image about a brain scan and the purpose is to detect and understand where is the location of the tumor. Now that's something interesting because you don't want to open the patient's brain to know that tumor is there. You want to be able to recognize from the picture. Now sometimes depending on different shape and size of the tumor itself, every patient has different traits of that tumor. So it could be challenging for new doctors to recognize that there's a tumor there with high confidence. So the idea here is perhaps we can fine tune, say a YOLO algorithm to help us to, to, really, help, to really help the patients and the doctors to have that initial recommendation of the location of that tumor. So that this gives the doctors an idea where to start instead of second guessing this when the doctor is a new hire. And guess what? This will save a lot of time, not just for doctors that are new hire, but also for the more experienced doctors as well, because for the more experienced doctors, their life is not free, right? They have decades of experience in the industry. They're not just going to be sitting there waiting for the young doctors to ask them questions. They are busy people. So perhaps an AI algorithm can be trained to pack decades of years of experience from the more experienced doctors down to say this type of algorithm and give that recommendation on the spot when the patient comes in so that the young doctor can kind of consult with the AI recommendation trained from labels provided by the experienced doctors with decades of years of experience right now. They're able to get the label right now, know where the location of the tumor is, and let's start a conversation to see what the options are. So that is the idea here for that use case and the business purpose. And here we are in this book, you will learn about this type of technique that you can fine tune the algorithm and specifically you can use Detectron to know and detect the location of that tumor and the different status of how serious that tumor is. So I thought that was interesting to share with you guys. And this is just another great example of what AI can do. So with that being said, I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed the video, give a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.